Kind of makes me laugh that that strategy against the double pyramid heads only works on hard mode, and yet makes it so easy. On other difficulty modes, melee weapons will not bounce off walls, so it won't work, so that's kind of silly. So anyway, one final thing we can do to influence this ending we're after. And that is, in this final hallway, do not listen to the entire conversation. Run down the hallway as quickly as you can. James. I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm disgusted. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the... By leaving that hallway early and not listening to the entire conversation, we don't see the more sympathetic side of Mary. Instead, we just remember her basically as being troublesome and yelling at us and being angry and bitter. And for this ending, apparently that's what we want. And so it's just about time for the final confrontation once again. But this time... It's a bit different. Come on, James, get up those stairs. Once we've reached the top... There's no one waiting for us at the window this time. Instead, we have someone waiting for us in bed. Rather interesting, this. James, I've been waiting. Mary, I'm sorry it took so long. Didn't you want to see me? Yes, I wanted to see you. Even an illusion of you. That's why I came here. It's not true, is it? You killed me. I couldn't watch you suffer. Don't make excuses, James. <laughs> I know it was a burden on you. You must have hated me. That's why you got rid of me. It's true. I may have had some of those feelings. It was a long three years. I was... Tired. That's why you needed this Maria person? James, do you really think I could ever forgive you for what you did? And here we go again. Merry or no, it's the same bog-standard boss fight that we've been doing the last few times. No real difference to it. Thus, we're pretty much just gonna skip this, I think. So, back after I finish her off. Though, interestingly, hiding in a corner seems to be working very well. I have to deal with the occasional moth storm, but she doesn't seem to be able to grab me. Oops, spoke too soon. So here at the end of the fight, it's the same old story and we have to deliver a final shot to her. Sadly, doing some research, there aren't too many weapons that actually work on her for this uh, particular purpose, though firearms always seem to do the trick. And now for the ending. But... what's with those shadows? Uh... <laughs> Konami? 
Did you forget to reset some light sources properly? <laughs> you killed Mary again? That wasn't Mary. Mary's gone. That was just something I... Maria? Maria? What, James? I want you. I want you with me. Are you sure? Come on. Let's get out of here. What about Mary? It's okay. I have you. <laughs> so James's flashlight is back on, and that was the only light source in that entire scene or something. Whatever they did, the shadows were being really weird. Dreams. And letter time See again. Letter time. So, uh, yeah, back in a few minutes. Silent Hill. shy cameraman it's okay you can get closer <coughs> you yeah, better do something about that cough or James just might have to kill you too So, yes, what we've just witnessed is the Maria ending. In this one, essentially, James hasn't really seemed to learn much of anything. Basically, he went with the replacement goldfish route. He met Maria, she reminded him enough of Mary, and so he decided to leave town with her instead of really coming to grips with what he did, experiencing his sorrow over how things ended with Mary, and owning up to what happened. Of course, the Silent Hill twist is, from the looks of it, Maria is sick too, with the same illness that claimed Mary, and history is probably doomed to repeat itself. So, yeah. Who cares about Laura? Who cares about Mary? We have a hot new chick. Nice going, Captain James T. Jerk. So the ones we've been through thus far are really the three main endings of the game. The three most likely outcomes, so to speak. In fact, the game itself can hint you toward these. From something I've read, it seems that once you've been through the game once, there are some secret memos that can appear, though they're kind of random in their appearance. Only one of the... Uh, uh, complete derailment of thought there. Only one of the memos will actually appear on each playthrough, and it will hint toward an ending you haven't seen yet. If you've already seen the ending behind that memo, it won't appear at all. So by the time you've seen all three of the main endings, none of the memos will appear. I actually didn't even know about this, but each one kind of hints toward the things you have to do to get that ending. For instance, the one hinting toward the Maria ending is called Becoming a Happy Couple, and talks about not letting another woman get in the way, in this case, you know, thinking more about Mary than Maria. It talks about sacrifice, in this case meaning letting yourself get hurt before Maria gets hurt, things like that. The one hinting toward the in-water ending talks about constantly thinking about suicide, which, you know, we talked about that looking at some of those messages, constantly examining the knife. 
Also, it talked about doing stupid and reckless things without caring. In other words, getting hurt a lot but not healing. So, they do kind of hint as to what you need to do. But anyway, we've been through the three main endings now. Leave, In Water, and Maria. So there are still some other endings to cover. Also, there's a new difficulty mode, at least for the puzzles. Extra difficulty mode. We'll be covering that on the next run. Though... Gods, after having to protect Maria so long, and having to deal with baggage super mode... Ugh... Yeah... Oh, baggage. Anyway, let's see what the end ranking was after all that. I wonder if it'll upgrade the hyperspray. Somehow I doubt it. Huh? Well, it was still at least a better ranking. 6.1 from the looks of it. God, still didn't clear the boat fast enough. What do they want from me? One thing worth noting, however, is that... Uh, unlike in the first game, special weapons like the chainsaw and the hyperspray, they actually do not degrade your end ranking, so you can feel free to use them all you want. So, yeah, with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little look at the third playthrough, and I'll see you again in the fourth. Until then, fare thee well.